I was literally just thinking, what am I doing? Like, you're crazy. I just found it so hard getting back into normal training after having Reggie. You know, I'd join in sessions with the group. I'd be at the back of the group running. I almost had that expectation that I would stop and then come back and just be the same. Yeah. And that absolutely was not the case. Yeah, I just kept thinking, oh, what am I doing? Like, I should just stop. And is it actually going to be worth it in the end as well? I kept thinking, oh, you know, I might carry on training for a year, you know, try and get close to the Olympics, and then I might get injured and then it's all wasted time. So I did have a real like to and throw battle with myself mm. over that, particularly that first year. Did you ever seriously consider just leaving it? Yeah, that's the only time in my career I've ever felt like I just want to stop because I suppose I just doubted myself and I just wasn't sure whether I could become the athlete that I once was. And also when you become a mum, you have all that mum guilt. So I felt awful, you know, having to leave Reggie for, you know, going off to do morning sessions. And if I ever had to be away, it was just the worst like pain I'd ever felt. So yeah, I felt really torn between, am I doing this, is this the right thing? Thankfully it all worked out well, but it was, yeah, it was quite a tough time. Yeah, it all paid off. And yeah. I guess being able to have Reggie witness that, like not many children of athletes can say that they were there when their parents like won a medal or or you know competed in the yeah. Olympics. Yeah, no, it was, it was great because you know he came down to lots of training sessions, so he saw mummy competing, and yeah, he was just a part of that whole experience. And yeah, there's lots of photos and things to look back on. I feel a bit sorry for my daughter because she was a part of that last bit, but <laughs> equally, I um I got to receive a medal that I should have had in 2011 in the Olympic Stadium in London when I was pregnant with Liv. So I got to stand on the podium and receive a gold medal and she was there. So she's <laughs> she had, was, yeah, she, you was, call, she was there, she was present. So um, yeah, they both had some experiences within athletics. Would you have another child, do you think? Um, I think two's enough for now. <laughs> Bit of a handful. Yeah, life is so busy. And, you know, I always used to say, gosh, I'm so tired from training. And, you know, life is so busy then. But actually, you know, trying to juggle just normal life and two kids is, is pretty full on. And you always said, even before you retired from athletics, that you wanted to keep athletics in your life mm -hmm. in, in some way. Um, is that where the idea for the app came from? Yeah, I suppose obviously it all came from having, you know, my children and I had two very different pregnancies and two very different journeys back into fitness. So with my son, obviously, I was coming back to training for the World Championships and the Olympics and I had a fantastic team of people supporting me. So it was really that period where I really became aware of how lucky I was to have expert advice and, and knowledge from people around me because even as an elite athlete, when I fell pregnant, I kind of obviously turned to Google like everyone does and I just didn't really know what was safe and I questioned everything I was doing because you don't want to harm your baby in any way. So I wanted to kind of get all that knowledge and information and put it into one place that can hopefully help, you know, as many women out there stay active through their pregnancies and more importantly do the right kind of exercises that are going to help them through and, you know, beyond their pregnancies. There is a definite fear that pregnant women have about exercising during pregnancy. What would you say to someone who's pregnant and is kind of worried about harming their baby? I think it's really, really difficult because there's so much conflicting evidence out there. It's just, you can do this, but you can't do that. And you should do this, but you shouldn't do that. And everyone has an opinion. So it's about drawing the expert knowledge. And there's more and more research that comes out that it's, you know, it's perfectly safe to exercise during your pregnancy. It's about doing the right things. And it's about you know, you're not exercising to push yourself through exhaustion. You're not trying to make a physical change, really. You're just trying to keep fit and keep some level of activity going. And if anything, that's going to help you through your pregnancy, after your pregnancy, through your labour, and also, you know, help you have a better recovery after having your children. So Really, so it can help with all of that yeah, side of things. Yeah, I mean, you have, you know, your body changes so much and you're, you know, you, you stretch massively, your ligaments are all loosened. So being able to keep some control and some muscle tone and strength within, you know, certain areas of your core has a massive influence on, you know, how you recover and, and how you come through childbirth. You know, a lot of women struggle with back pain after having their children and that's a lot of that is due down to the, you know, the weakening of the core muscles and it's about building them back up. So yeah, there's so much 
great research out there to say exercising and keeping active through your pregnancy has massive, massive benefits. So it's not an app for aspiring <laughs> new mum Olympians. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of for everyone and regardless of any level. No, that's the thing. It's about trying to help. I want to help people have the most amazing pregnancy they can have. And it's about being active, having time to give yourself, you know, exercising and feel confident about your body. And after as well, it's, you know, you go through such a huge change over those nine months and beyond. And it's about, yeah, just helping you have that experience. That's a really positive experience for your body, as well as having your amazing baby once they're born. How much exercise do you do now? Because I would imagine it's, you look very fit, obviously, but there must be a huge adjustment. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously I used to train twice a day most days and training was pretty intense, you know, it was, it was full on. Um, obviously now I don't train like that. I have two children to look after and lots of other things going on. So, yeah, my training very much now is taking bits of what I used to do as a full-time athlete and kind of condensing it into sessions and workouts that fit into my day much easier. So I am, you know, pretty much like every other mum out there now where you're trying to juggle work and kids and all the other things that happen in your life and just trying to slot those little bits of exercise in. And that's what I've tried to include in, in my app, just a snippet of what I do, um, like workout wise on a daily basis.